We've got a typical drip set up here. We'll look at the different parts and then we'll talk about how it works. So the main reason we use drip in the tunnels is to put water right where we want it to go, to do it more efficiently and more effectively, uh, to really control the amount of irrigation that goes down, and also to keep moisture off the foliage. So if we start putting lots of moisture on the foliage in a human environment like this, we're bound to get fungal diseases. So we're really doing it for disease control and for water use efficiency. So this is a typical setup. This is the header. This has water running through it. It comes out of the hydrant uh, into, the, into a hose and then into this header. Um, then we have these different lines going out. Depending on the crop that we're doing, we've got a different number of lines. These beds were just seeded to carrots a few days ago. So they have five or six lines uh, on each of them. And the lines right now are right over where the carrots were seeded. So these lines are 12 inch emitter spacing. It just depends on uh, what you would like to use. There's six, eight, 12, and 24 uh, inch, diff inch emitter spacing between them. We've stuck to 12 for everything and it seems to work for us. These are our barbs. This is what connects the drip line to, uh, to the header. So we've chosen to do these on off ones. Uh, the reason we like these is that we really have control. So like right now we can have this off of here and all these ones are still running the water through them. And the way these work are, we've got these piece that screws down to tighten it. So we open it all the way, slide that piece on, the line or the emitters go up. Then we tighten this down, make sure it's tight. We'll give it a pull to make sure it's on there. And then we go ahead and turn it on. And if that happens, it means we're not on tight. So what's really nice with the on-offs, again, is we can just turn it off, adjust it, tighten it back down, turn it on, and there we go. So sometimes we get a hole in the drip tape, whether it's from when we're hoeing or weeding or something chews on it or someone steps on it or, or otherwise. Sometimes we just get a hole and we need to patch it. So instead of switching out the whole line, we have things that look like this. So it's just like down at the front where these will tighten down and they just tighten down both directions. So when we want to do, use these, what we would do is let's say we've got a leak right here. We would go ahead, cut the spot out where we had a leak, loosen these down, slide it on there. Tighten it, give it a tug, slide this one onto here, tighten that down, and give it a tug, and there we go. So what's nice again about the on-off valves down at the other end is that when we want to repair these, we don't need to turn the hydrant off, which in this case is about 400 feet away. We don't need to turn that off, patch this, run all the way back, turn it back on. We can just turn this line off only. These other ones are still running. Go ahead and put this on and then go ahead and turn it back uh, on down at the other end. So to close off the ends, there's a couple different ways to do it. Um, one is that the companies do sell something special that you just fold over and you clip right on there. Um, we don't usually use those. A uh, couple different ways to do it. One is to just go ahead and tie a knot in the end. That's probably the most straightforward. So you just go ahead and tie a knot and tighten it down and pull it tight until it doesn't leak anymore. Um, what we also like to do is go ahead and cut, uh, run it a little long and then cut off a small piece at the end about that big. Fold this over usually three times. Pinch it together so that from the end you've got something that looks like that. Take that piece that you cut off and slide it right in there. You need to make sure that that gets all the way in otherwise this will just get blown off. Um, but there you go, you've got that. That'll keep it from unrolling and it'll seal the end up for you. So there's a couple lines uh, on the drip line and on the header that are really important. So one is on the header, you can see this blue line along here. The reason that that's there is that's the point where you wanna put your holes in for your, uh, your barbs here. So what that does is if we put all of them in on that line, that makes sure that we're in the same level. The other line is you can see it's on the top of this drip tape. Um, different manufacturers have different colored lines, but that is supposed to be up. So that's the line that your emitters are on. And so if you put that down, what usually ends up happening 
is that it, though you can see here, there's kind of mud that forms as the drip comes out, that the, the lines will sit right in that and then they can get clogged up. So what we want to do is have that line up and you can see there the water comes out and falls down the side and then hits the soil. That way with the line up and the emitters up, that makes sure that we don't get any clogged emitters from any mud or any soil that's caking on there and then drying. So there are tools that they make to punch holes in the drip lines and some people like them a lot and they work really well for them. Uh, we just usually like to use a drill. We use a, an eighth inch uh, drill bit on there and we go ahead and drill the hole and then pop this in. So we've got the header on right now, or the water on, so we're probably gonna get a good spray when we go through here. Put this, again, we wanna drill right on the blue hole. We're gonna drill that through. What you wanna make sure is you don't push too hard so that it drills out of the back. And then again, we're gonna pop this right in to keep it from spraying all over the place. So there you go, that fits right in there. What's really nice also about these on-off ones is that if that happens, if you do get a hole in your header, you can go ahead and use them to block it also or to, to seal that hole off. Um, we really like the on-offs also because for this case, we've got six rows of carrots in here. That works really well. But if we had tomatoes in here or say we have uh, head lettuce in here for the winter, we can go ahead and just run three lines or just run four lines, and we don't have to take these out and plug, plug them up again with any special plugs. We can just go ahead and turn these off and only run certain lines at certain times. So drip systems are a really good way, an efficient way to put down water where you want it, when you want it, and how you want it. They're affordable, and although they might seem intimidating, there's only a few different pieces that fit together really easily. So you can get them, get them in, and get growing as soon as you can.